Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the South Florida Gospel News. I am your faithful host, Deborah Hall McCullen, and I am so glad to be here. We got a lot of things to talk about, so chat. Let me go on and get into it, okay? This show is dedicated to my brother from another mother, Mr. Willis Williams Jr. Everybody around here call him Man Man. Rest in peace, man, man. I miss you every day. You will certainly be missed forever and ever and ever. My condolences go out to your daughters and the rest of your family, your brothers and sisters and friends, everybody. I met man, man when I worked for McCray's Backyard Barbecue on 45th Street. I hadn't been there long, and then Man Man came and started working. And when you're talking about some work, me and Man Man put in some work. You and me, we worked. And, you know, we called each other brother and sister. And just like brother and sister, you know, sometimes we fell all the way down to the ground. But you know what? We always keep made up, just like families do. So, Man Man, take your well-deserved rest. You will certainly be missed forever and ever and ever amen so i just wanted to run down a couple of things because you know it's been a couple of weeks since i've been on here because i've been doing some things you know mostly with my family my family comes first but i just want to catch y'all up right quick on what i've been had, what i've had going on in my world first things first uh i did make a couple of facebook posts about um the Martin Luther King Jr. Marathon that I was in. So here are my good pictures here. There I am. That was, I did the uh, 5K uh, of the second annual MLK and Divine 9 5K Challenge. It was a lot of fun as usual. And uh, here I am with my finishing medal. I didn't finish first, and I sure didn't finish last, but thank God I finished. And uh, I think I was number 303 or something like that. And that was, of course, put on by the Black Chamber of Commerce of Palm Beach County. And they go sexy lady right there again. Oh, I was 343. Yeah, there I am. I had a great time. So speaking of the Black Chamber of Commerce of Palm Beach County, Shout out to them having a successful 11th annual Ascension Awards. And hats off to Miss Kitty London for being the most gracious host of the event. I was not there, but I did see some pictures and videos uh, on Facebook. So you can go on Facebook and Instagram and see some great pictures on Kitty London's um, Facebook pages. And probably some other people's pages, but pictures are beautiful. Looks like everyone had a great time. And I'm proud to see that the Black Chamber of Commerce has come such a long way. When I was involved, I was part of the board that put together special events. I think we did um, business before breakfast mixers. Some, I forgot the name of it, but we used to meet and like put these mixers together that would start at 7 in the morning. You know, before people had a chance to get to work, they can come, they can get some breakfast and coffee, they can network, and then head off to the office. And then there was one called Business After Hours, which was also a mixer that we would have uh, downtown. And I think I was the one who picked out a couple of places to host the event. So it was a whole lot of work. It was challenging and it was fun at the same time. And I'm not going to call the names of the people that I work with. Um, but... We did okay trying to put it together, and there was a push for me to sort of kind of take the lead and keep bringing these events because back then I was involved in a lot of stuff um, media-wise and as a publicist, and I, I won't say I knew a lot of people, but a whole lot of people knew me, uh, I guess just like now, but I didn't have the time because I was dedicating my time to helping Derek McCray build his business, so I was dedicated to that, so doing that and doing the Chamber of Comment, Commerce events, it was a lot. So I had to let one of them go, and I stuck with Derek. And I'm glad I did, because right now he's at the Super Bowl in Arizona with his, uh, I think this is the 17th year uh, that he was invited to participate in the Super Bowl with his business. All right, so moving right along, we're going to talk about a gospel play that's coming up on 
February 25th, February 25th, the gospel stage play Who Knew, and it's only for one night, will be at the Plumosa School of the Arts. And that's at 2501 Seacrest Boulevard in Delray Beach. I'm going to be there. And I hope you'll meet me there or beat me there. All roads lead to 2501 Seacrest Boulevard in Delray Beach. The ticket price is $25 in advance and $30 at the door. And again, it's only one night and it starts at 6 p.m. So if you want to get more information about the play, go to chichimarproductions.com. That's C-H-I-C-H-I productions with an S dot com. Or you can call 561. 564-4288. All right. So shout out to Mark and Sylvia Woods for putting this together. And thank you for inviting me. I will be there February 25th at 6 p.m. for the gospel stage play. Who knew? Well, all right. So the other thing I wanted to talk about, I want to delve into this subject. And I was listening to a broadcast I think that was last week. And there was a comment made about community gardens. So y'all know gardening um, is near and dear to my heart because my husband is a horticulturalist and he has degrees and certifications. And he's also a Florida certified master gardener. So um, I would often go out on the weekends and go to the community gardens and help pull weeds, you know, whatever was needed, I would be there to actually work to make the gardens look beautiful. And uh, I would also tell other people about the gardens, you know, because our tax dollars pay for this um, space. And why not go out there and gardening? It it creates such a uh, peaceful place, you know, even though you're working, it's so peaceful and calming. And I love going out, volunteering my time, pulling weeds and you know, helping out wherever help was needed. So I just wanted to talk about that briefly and talk about the importance of going to the gardens in Riviera Beach, why they are important and how you should get involved. Okay, so I'm gonna be real quick with this right here. So, you know, in Riviera Beach, the whole city is pretty much a food desert. That means there are the stores that we have here, all these corner stores, they don't have fresh fruits and vegetables. You can go in there, you can get some grits, eggs, and sausage, maybe a banana, but it's not a grocery store. We're fresh fruits and vegetables and and a variety of foods. So we have two grocery stores in Riviera Beach. Oh, let me take this play off while I'm talking about this. Sorry, y'all. Make sure y'all go get y'all tickets. You know, I'm running my own board. I'm, you know, anyway. So uh, we have two grocery stores in Riviera Beach. One is Public Supermarket on Blue Heron Boulevard right before you cross the bridge to go to Singer Island. And the other is the Riviera Beach Supermarket. So a lot of people was like, Riviera Beach Supermarket? Not where is that, but what is that? Okay, so Riviera Beach Supermarket is located on Barack Obama Highway, a.k.a. the Stank Stole. Even Google knows the Stank Stole. But the official name is Rivera Beach Supermarket. They have an actual meat counter and fresh vegetables in there. So you can go in there and grocery shop. So we have two grocery stores in the whole city. And so the importance of having a community garden is that uh, thousands of pounds of food is given away each year that's grown in that garden. And we have, uh, I think it's five gardens. So there's a Singer Island Community Garden. There's the Rivera Beach Heights Community Garden on 10th Street. There is the Children's Prosperity Garden on 6th Street. There's the Willie Bo Davis Vegetable Garden at Lindsay Davis. And also at Lindsay Davis is the Willie Bo Davis Meditation Garden. So those gardens provide fresh and nutritious food to seniors who go out there, you know, during the holidays, they pick their collard greens and sweet potatoes or whatever. First of all, they grow them themselves. And then they go out there and harvest tomatoes, peppers, cabbages, cauliflower, a variety of vegetables. So uh, I will say that this past holiday, there weren't any collard greens at the River Beach Heights Garden on 10th Street. 
So uh, Chris doesn't manage that garden. There's someone else there, but they didn't plant collard greens for the community for whatever reason. So the seniors at Lindsay Davis um, grew their greens and they were able to harvest them. So, you know, learn, residents can learn how to grow their own vegetables. They have classes that teach you how to grow your own food. And then for the Children's Prosperity Garden on 6th Street, the Safety Patrol kids run that garden. They go out there, they, Chris teaches them how to plant, how to pull weeds, how to harvest. And so, you know, a lot of kids, they've never seen a piece of corn growing on a corn stalk. stalk. They've never seen tomatoes on a vine, potatoes in the ground, bananas on a tree. So it's a learning experience for them to teach them to appreciate and how they can grow their own food. And then also that uh, that spot there at the Children's Prosperity Garden. No, I'm sorry. The River Beach Heights Garden on 10th Street during the pandemic, it served as a um, place where people could go pick up food. So it was, a uh, you know, you can go there, all the food that was given away when people were in that long, ridiculous lines at Wells Recreation, they can go right there and pick up food from the 10th Street Garden. And then they also had harvest days on the weekends when they were put, put the sign out where anybody could come in, you know, and then they could pick their own vegetables to take them home and cook. And then the gardens also have some partnerships with food pantries as well. So it does serve a purpose for the community. It's not just a waste of space, but you get out of it what you put into it. So now on Saturday, uh, Chris was at the 10th Street Garden and he said about 40 volunteers showed up and I'm gonna show you some um, pictures. Uh, the brothers from Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity Incorporated go to that garden every second Saturday of the month. And they volunteer their time and their fellowship. And so yesterday you had Omega Sci-Fi and you also had the Riviera Beach Police Athletic League brought the young men over and they volunteered their time. And then there were also some residents who came over to volunteer their time at the garden. So here are some of the pictures. Here's some of the uh, brothers from Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity Incorporated doing some work. And uh, <laughs> I find it very funny. But if you know this gentleman here in the picture, please tag him. Let him know um, he's on South Florida Gospel News Radio. Okay, and this is the uh, Riviera Beach Police Athletic League, along with some members from Omega Sci-Fi. And to the left, your far left, is Mr. Malachi Knowles with Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity Incorporated. Also, interested youth golfers. All right, Police Athletic League and Omega Sci-Fi again. And the young men out there volunteer, probably pulling weeds or doing something, doing a little bit of cleanup. And Chris said they had a great time out there learning and uh, getting to know some of the, the men from Omega Sci-Fi. It was a, a learning experience for them. And then here are some of the residents around Rivera Beach. They were also out there doing a little bit of cleanup, volunteering their time. And one of the things that, you know, like I said, I like to do is go out there and volunteer my time because it was peaceful. It was a beautiful experience to be out there. It would be so cool. Even, even the hottest days of the summer, if I went on the weekends, uh, went in the morning time before it got too hot, it was so peaceful. Okay, and so this is um, Lindsay Davis. Some of the seniors at Lindsay Davis harv harv harvesting, excuse me, their collard greens at the Lindsay, at the Witherbill Davis Garden at Lindsay Davis on 28th Street. So this was probably around November uh, when, you know, Chris showed them how to how to plant their greens. So if you look at the, the, the box right behind him, how it's really full, and then the box to his uh, right, how those have been picked, but he showed them how to pick them so that they can leave enough so that the um, collard greens will still keep growing. All right, so I um, signed that paper to volunteer at River Beach Heights Community Garden. And, uh, you know, it's um, it's been a year since I made a Facebook post about peaches in Riviera Beach. 
I did not know that peaches uh, could grow down here in South Florida. And we had two peach trees right here in Riviera Beach. One or two. I think it was two. And what happened was the, uh, the trees, I think in 2020, the end of 2020 and 2021, they weren't getting any water. So Chris fixed the irrigation over there where the trees could get water and he would hand water those trees. And then by them getting water, they start the trees started blooming and then they produced these beautiful peaches. And I was like, I got to take a picture of this and then put it on Facebook. So if you look at uh, my Facebook page, 2021, or if you go to Master Gardener Chris on Facebook, you'll see some old uh, Facebook posts about peaches in Riviera Beach. And they were so sweet and good. So it's been a year and I figured that um, it's time for the trees to have some peaches on it. And I was going to go over there and see if I could pick me some. So let me show you sashaying in front of the garden, getting ready to go in. Yeah, you got it. me showing that okay anyway so my heart was totally broken when I went over there to find out not only were there no peaches look like the trees had been starved well I did ask and the water supply was cut off so the trees pretty much dried up and died uh and they were cut down and I could not believe it so you went from this to this Anyway, so Riviera Beach residents, go to your community gardens and see what's there. Volunteer your time to help out wherever you can. So like I said before, Chris um, doesn't manage the 10th Street Garden anymore. He's mostly over at Lindsay Davis. And I hope that they bring back the Children's Prosperity Garden as well. It has stopped because of the pandemic. And then uh, there was another garden planned for JF, uh, not JFK, uh, Lincoln Elementary. So the pandemic put a halt to that. So I do know that uh, there's an urban garden on Blue Heron next to um, Barracuda Bay. Uh, Chris is not over there anymore either. And then uh, there's also been a garden started at JFK Middle School. So Chris uh, wasn't invited to that one. So moving forward, make sure you sign up and volunteer at your community gardens. You'll see uh, an invitation to sign up to volunteer in every city of River Beach newsletter. It's called the Blue Heron that's issued, I think every Tuesday, the Blue Heron comes out. So if you scroll almost to the end of the newsletter, you'll see how you can sign up to become a garden volunteer and get out and learn something. Or you can um, bring your groups and volunteer. And they also uh, offer the kids can do their volunteer community service hours at the garden. So make sure you um, participate in all of that. I'm trying to read my little notes here to make sure I didn't forget anything. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to make one more announcement. So I want to give uh, special congratulations to the CEO, Kenya C. Wheeler, uh, not Kitty London from the Black Chamber of Commerce Ascension Awards, but Kenya C. Wheeler from the Praise and Worship Experience Church and Business Awards that was held in Derry Beach on Saturday, February 11th. I mean, I've heard nothing but great things about it. Unfortunately, I could not make it, but the weather was beautiful. The setup was beautiful. And from the pictures and videos that I have seen, it looks like it was a fantastic event. So congratulations, uh, Ms. Kenya Wheeler, the CEO, on a successful Praise and Worship Experience Church and Business Awards in Derry Beach on Saturday. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about is on Saturday, February 18th, you will see me. I might be the first one in line. I might get there at 6 o'clock. The Riviera Beach Tree Giveaway is going to be taking place Saturday, February 18th, starting at 9 a.m. It's first come, first serve. You must be a Palm Beach County resident to receive a tree. All right, so um, the species available are gumbo limbo, jackfruit, silver buttonwood, and soursop. And again, you must be a Palm Beach County resident 
In order to receive a treat, please bring your identification to prove as such. This is brought to you by the Community Greening and Keep Palm Beach County Beautiful. And they are handing out 200 free trees. So I'm going to be, um, I want to be first in line to get a tree. Okay, so make sure y'all show up for this. And if you need more information, go to communitygreening.org. Communitygreening.org is the website to go to free trees on at nine o'clock at Wells Recreation. And that is 2409 Avenue H West in Riviera Beach. That's right across from City Hall where they are um, building that fire station uh, at that location. So find somewhere to park and then so it's not drive through where they just throw it in your car. You got the um I guess walk up and you're limited to two trees. And if you get a fruit tree, like the uh, jackfruit, I think, or south stop, they only give you one. Okay, so make sure, make sure you sign up for that. There was one more other thing I wanted to talk about, which I'm not sure if I did or not. And if I did, I'm going to repeat it again anyway. I want to say a thank you to the founder of the Tampa Bay Gospel Awards, Mr. Gerard Holmes, for putting us in the mix and allowing us to be nominated for Media Publication of the Year for the 2023 Tampa Bay Gospel Awards. So, yeah, we won in 2021, and we want to come back and bring that thing back home in 2023. So I will let you know when it's time to vote. Once again, the South Florida Gospel News has been nominated for the 2023 Tampa Bay Gospel Awards for Media Publication of the Year. Thank you all so very, 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 very much for everything. And then thank you to everyone who, um, oh, you know what? I got one more video. Let me do that right quick. Then I'm going to stay with me. I'll stay with me. I run them on board here. I got one more video um, that I was supposed to show when I was talking about the marathon. I forgot, but here it goes. Make sure I right quick. You know, everything I do, I do it on purpose. Okay. But you know, somebody had a nerve to tell me talking about something I don't like. It because it looked like you showing out. Let me show that one more time. We're real hard to be able to show. Let me show you in front of the guard one more time. So the people who work with me and my family, y'all know I have this hip pain. You know, I'm over 50. I'm more than half of 100 now. So there are some aches and pains. Uh, my doctor explained to me why my hip was in so much pain. And I will say that it is almost 100% healed. I have a little bit of a hot left sometimes, but it's much, 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 much better. So let me show off my work one more time. And there you go. Okay, boom. All right, y'all. I'm going to get off here. And then, again, I want to thank everyone for your support and everything that I do, my books. You know, sometimes we have sales for sale sometimes. And for every dollar you spend, thank you so much. It's not wasted. We reinvest back into our community. I take the money from the books. I buy books and I donate it to libraries. And I just appreciate everyone for your support for watching this video for hanging out with me for talking about me sometimes so bad and then people coming and telling me what you say but i don't say nothing i don't even i don't even acknowledge it i'd be like hallelujah it just makes me more valuable so thank you thank you for trying to reprimand people who are dear, near and dear to me it's not gonna work it's not gonna work but thank you so much because you know my facebook page and my YouTube and all of them, you know, I don't get that much play on YouTube, but you know, I'm on Twitter and I'm on Instagram. I had TikTok, but I delivered, deleted TikTok. You know, it was just too much. I couldn't understand that, but maybe I'll be back later. But I got like 12 Facebook pages, child. Who you think it is might not be. It just might be me, hon. It might be me. But I want to thank you for those who like and share this uh, page. 
these videos, who go back and watch, who tell people, look, 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 look what she doing, look what she doing, look what she talking about. Thank you. And for those who don't comment, like, or do anything, but just watch me and wonder what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and making up stuff about what I'm doing. Thank you as well. Because every time you watch Jive, Facebook, they write that down and then they see me, send me an email and then they say, they go, your direct deposit. Thank you. I appreciate you. And then for those who also um, still order books on Amazon, I appreciate you um, because Amazon tightens up that bank account every month. And I want to um, let you all know that uh, I take that money because that was a uh, assignment from God for me to write down River Beach history. So I want all of our kids in the community to know that they come from greatness. And that's why I take every dime of that money and I buy books. And yes, I have to buy my own book because Amazon prints my book. So I have to buy it from them. And then I donate to the community. And then I've given a lot of books away for free to adults who can afford to pay for them. But I say, hey, take this book, read it, and share it with your family. This is what I'm doing. I want to thank you, too, for your support. Anyway, that's my spiel. I'm just trying to be funny, y'all. My sarcasm sometimes is not funny, but I'm just being funny. And, uh... That's all I got to say. So please like and share this video and then tell somebody I was on here talking about people. Okay, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.